I'm Steve Toby, and this is the Gospel Minute. Today, we're right back into St. Matthew's Gospel and starting where we left off yesterday. Chapter 16, verses 6 through 12. But before we begin, let's start out with our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Lord, enlighten our hearts and our minds, that we may learn and understand your teachings and apply them to our lives. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Now let's read today's Gospel. Then Jesus said to them, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Sadducees and the Pharisees. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. But Jesus, being aware of it, said to them, O you of little faith. Why do you reason among yourselves because you have brought no bread? Do you not yet understand or remember the five loaves of the five thousand and how many baskets you took up? Nor the seven loaves of the four thousand and how many large baskets you took up? How is it you do not understand that I did not speak to you concerning bread, but to beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Then they understood that he did not tell them to beware of the leaven of the bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. As we said yesterday, the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees was their teaching, their doctrine, and their hypocrisy. They had perverted the Jewish law and furthermore demanded the people follow their interpretation of the law while they themselves ignored it. The disciples think his reference to the leaven was about their failure to bring bread with them. Leaven, yeast, was used to make bread. It still is. Jesus tells them they have little faith and that's why they don't understand what he's trying to tell them. In fact, the disciples won't fully understand Christ's teachings until Pentecost, when they are enlightened by the Holy Spirit. Christ's lesson to us today is to beware of false doctrines and to make every effort to grow in faith. Now let's finish with our prayer from the Psalms. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God be gracious unto us and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us and have mercy on us, that we may know upon the earth thy way among all the nations thy salvation. Let the peoples give thee praise, O God, let all the peoples praise thee. Let the nations be glad and rejoice, for thou shalt judge peoples with uprightness, and nations shalt thou guide upon the earth. Let the peoples give thee praise, O God, let all the peoples praise thee. The earth hath yielded her fruit. Let God our God bless us. Let God bless us, and let all the ends of the earth fear him. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Well, everybody have a good day, and may God bless us. Oh, yeah.